Hello, my name is Nigel Griffiths, I work in Power Systems and Advanced Technology Support in Europe. In this movie we'll be looking at the versioned workload partitions which allows us to run AX5.2 and AX5.3, very old versions of AX, inside a workload partition that's actually running on top of AX7. And in this movie we'll be looking at migrating our versioned workload partitions from AX5 all the way up to AX7 so that they're current. Now in the past, if we moved AX5 into a workload partition, we actually had a bit of a dead end. But now with this AX7 technology level 3, we have a new escape route. We can migrate them all the way up to the current version of AIX in roughly half an hour. Well, that's been my experience. Remember with versioned workload partitions, they had private slash user and slash opt because in there was the AX5 uh, utilities and uh, commands and libraries and they'll still be like this after we've migrated them. So here are the steps. Firstly we'll have to upgrade our global copy of AX to 7TL3 or above and any updates. I recommend that you upgrade your versioned workload partition software up to the latest level. At the time of creating this movie it, that was version 1.1.2. Then I'm going to check the workload partition is backed up as normal. Have a look at those log files just to check that they're okay. I would personally make an extra backup and um, we want to make sure that we can recover from that. To do the backups of course, the uh, best way of doing that is from the global copy of AX, stop the workload partition and run the save WPAR. Now you could actually practice this upgrade process by cloning your workload partition. We run a save WPAR and then we'll do a restore of it with the rest WPAR command, but instead of just reinstalling it all, we're actually going to change the WPAR name, the host name and the disks and we end up with a different workload partition with the same content. And we can practice the upgrade to make sure we're happy it's going to work. But you can have problems with migration, with any big jump in the operating system level, please, please do a backup. So here's my virtual machine. I've upgraded to AX7 technology level 3. Of course, workload partitions only run on AX7, so there's no AX6 uh, equivalent. And we can see we have a workload partition, I just called mine WP something, so WP28, uh, and it's active. If we do a, a DF command, we can see here's all the uh, file systems mounted. It's not got a shared um, user and uh, opt. Uh, has to have private ones because in here the uh, the opt and the user is um, all the files for AX 5.2 uh, in this case. And to do the upgrade, I've um, pulled in all the AX 7 technology level three. Uh, the same files that I used to upgrade with um, are here as the installation images. Um, I think they're all in slash uh, images. Now here's the contents of uh, what you see on the AX Media disk. And we're going to upgrade using these into a workload partition. Let me just uh, clear the deck uh, here. So here's the command, uh, migrate WPAR. Minus D, this is where those files are to do the upgrade. Minus C, is it um, compatibility mode or something, and the LPAR name. Now if you upgrade AX from TL2 to TL3, normally all your regular workload partitions you want to immediately upgrade as well. So there is a command to migrate all of them in one go. But of course with the versioned workload partitions, uh, you probably don't want to do all of them uh, at the same time, and you have to do them one by one. Remember they're not just one TL back, they're actually AX5.2 or 5.3, so it's a big jump, and you may want to be careful with these. So we'll just run the uh, mic right now. And it's stopped already. Uh, no, it hasn't finished. It's telling us that we're in the A state, which is active, and not D state, the defined. So, yet we can't upgrade it or migrate it while it's running. Well, okay, here it is at the moment. Um, it's actually quite nice. Uh, you know, this is old and fluffy, isn't it? AX5, good grief. It's difficult to remember that far back. And down here. Yeah, the prompt is wrong. This is the old machine it came from. It's actually running on a, a Power 7 machine now. And um, it's X52 TL10 Service Pack 8 from 2009. Um, but uh, of course, it wasn't um, functionally enhanced for about four years before that. So we're talking about an eight year old operating system. Okay, so all we have to do now, we're actually uh, running it 
in here is we just need to shut this guy down and uh, we can either shut it down this way or we could shut it down from the glow copy um, of AX. We'll just wait for a minute for it to do that. Okay, if we do LSW par, we're in a defined state. Great, so clear the deck and we'll run that command again. It's telling us that it's actually picking up these new Im images from here and off it goes. I've actually got another virtual machine here and um, this is an X53 one and um, it's defined state and I actually put the files in a slightly different directory but apart from that it's all the same and we'll actually do the migrate here as well and we'll see uh, who's going to win is the X52 upgrade going to happen faster than the 53 upgrade because we're upgrading it um, all the way to AX7 technology level 3. We will have to be careful that we have uh, test our applications that they're happy to then uh, run at that level or perhaps we'll then need um, upgrading. One very important point of course is that if this goes wrong we then have a partly upgraded from AX5 to AX7 um, I did this once with a read-only file system that should have been read-write and it, it crashed when it couldn't update the files. I then had a AX version of nothing at all and the workload partition wouldn't restart. I can't undo the migration. Uh, then we suddenly realized backups, very, very important. Don't just check that they're happening. Actually go read those um, backups to make sure you can recover. Okay, so we'll let these run. And uh, we'll come back in a few minutes and see what's going on. You can see there that the global copy of AX is uh, growing the file system, so to make sure that the uh, the files actually fit. We can see there we have 695 packages that it's going to install. Of course, that will take some time. Practically the whole operating system by the sound of it. The AX 5.3 on here, still running. Here we can see there's 720 packages for the AX53 to 7 upgrade. Um, a few more, but not uh, a lot of difference. Okay, and uh, AX 5.2 wins! 5.3 still got uh, 140 packages to go. As told us here, successfully migrated. Okay, so the next thing to do is uh, just have a little look. Oh, it's still there, and we'll start it up. Clear the screen, and we'll see login. Don't recommend that you do this. Normally, because you're getting to trouble with uh, programs if you start them in C logging. Clear the screen and OS level AX7 TL3 as you'd expect. We'll log out of C login or it can get very confusing. AX5.3 upgrade carrying on another 70 packages or so. We're doing Perl at the moment. Big package does take a while. I'll cut another chunk out of the movie to save some time. Clean up and we're done. Okay. Down here Far admin browse wpar its name dot log log for potential additional actions. So we'll have a look at that to see if there's anything that needs updating because we changed the uh, level of AX. Okay, it's finished just like the 5.2, 5.3 of AX uh, installed and upgraded. Okay, we'll just start it up. It will complain here if there's anything wrong. And it's up and running. So after we've done the migration, I'd recommend that you do another backup. That will save you having to go through the loop again if you make some ghastly mistake on the machine. Then there's that log file that we see as part of the output. And there's the name of it. The, the name is the name of the WPAR. Fairly large file. My one was 11,000 lines. Um, I guess we could strip out a lot of that because it's just the update packages going in. You're looking for the other stuff. 
then you need to regression test your applications. They were running on AX5, 2 or 3, and now they're running on AX7, TL3. And um, although we've got binary compatibility, so we should be okay, I just want to make sure that they're happy with the, the new versions of the libraries, for example, in AIX. Well, that's it for migrating AX5.2 and 5.3 Wurtler partitions up to AX7 so you can carry on running them into the future. If you like this movie, go and find some more YouTube movies on youtube.com user Nigel A.R. Griffiths. I also tweet on the Twitter account Mr. Underscore Nmon and I run a blog, the AXPERT blog, you can use it tinyurl.com AXPERT to find that.